Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can use the contour tool to make fancy shapes as the one you see here on the screen. So first, let me delete uh, my shape and then I create a new one. I will choose a rectangle here. I will choose the node tool. I will right click on the shape. Remember to have it selected. Let's convert it to curves. Now I'll add in some more points. Like this. I'll just do something like this. We can add another one over here. To have a fancy shape. Now hit the contour tool. Now if you see if your mouse is inside of the shape. You can see the cursor have changed. And if you hold down the left key and you pull out, you can see the shape is getting bigger and the, the corners here are getting round. If you are pulling inside, now it's the other, um, the inner um, points here that are getting round and the other one are still sharp. These settings can be adjusted up here in the left corner. We have the round corner, we have the middle, and we have the bevel. So the middle, you will get these sharp corners in all of them. And with the middle, no, sorry, the bevel, you will get a bevel corner. And the same from the inside when you're going inside. Then we have. Uh, if you want uh, a round uh, endpoint, or we want a square endpoint. In the fill, we have the auto closed. That's the one you see here now. Then we have the force closed to the right here. In this shape I have here, you can't see any difference. It's it's auto closed or it's forced to be closed. What that means is if you take the other one forced open, the middle will be open. So now you can squeeze it down a bit like this. So you have this fancy shape. When you have the shape that you want, you can just bake appearance. And now you have a new shape. So if you now take the node tool, you can see we have all these new points. All these points can be adjusted. If you uh, left click and select all of them. And now you can move them around. You can also take one at a time and keep building on into the shape. So this is how the contour tool are working. I really hope this helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.